I've seen me use this stuff a number of times in different projects. It's nothing special, it's just pink electrical tape. Uh, the reason why I use it is because I got it cheap and because of the sort of mild elastic nature of it sort of holds things in place nicely and it just stops things from sliding around out of position and it doesn't leave any glue residue when you take it off. I've just repositioned that bit because it wasn't holding on very well and I couldn't get that temporary magazine piece out so that's held in place a bit better there now so that I can start uh, sorting out these holes. I'm not going all the way through with these holes, I just want to sort of have enough of an alignment with them that I can pick up the underlying metal. As I said, these are just going to be a temporary holding point and I'll probably finish them off with a rounded Allen key bolt to get the proper look that I'm going for. That countersink tip that I'm using there is pretty close to the size of the final hole that I will be using for the assembly of it. But what I'm using it for at the moment is just to make sure that when I put these screws in, they are flush to the surface of the metal so that I can still get over the surface for the cleaning of it. Keeping in mind, I need to be able to get these out so that it's not getting stuck together permanently by accident. So these are just a wood screw that I've cut to the appropriate length to match the hole. I use these sort of ones because they self-tap really nicely and I have even used them as permanent fixtures in some of the previous projects that I've done by just allowing them to sort of cut and tap their way through and then cutting them off and grinding them down on either side to just form like a blind rivet point. That's certainly good enough for what I need now. I'll leave that piece on just to give it a bit of extra stability but that'll give me a working area now so that I can bring these surfaces back to a proper match. So that's still got to have a cover plate piece made up for it to cover up that seam anyway. Uh, but in terms of overall alignment and the sort of flatness of the surface, that's the type of thing that I'm definitely going for. Eventually. That's most of the outside surfaces done on the top section. I've now got to reposition that tape to around here so that I can do that bottom section and clean up this bit in here. And then I can clean up this inside section a little bit more. So there was an awful lot of cutting back that had to be done on the inside, but for the most part it's done now. Um, it's still only really roughed out with the file and there's a couple of areas that need the corners touching up and that sort of thing. But for the most part the outside surface is done to a point where I can continue. The alignment on the inside is pretty reasonable. As it goes down this way it sort of drifts off a little bit as it comes out the back. Uh, it's not a huge amount, probably uh, a mil, mil and a half on that side and probably a bit less on the other. But there's still more than enough material in there to make that correction anyway and it doesn't look like it's going to make it floppy in any way because at the moment I can't even get that piece in there. Apart from that, I've roughed out the piece that I've done as a mock-up for the magazine and finished off the butt cap so that it matches it and that sort of fits in there quite nicely. And even without any sort of clip-up areas that sort of would normally hold that in place, it doesn't even seem to need any at the moment sort of thing in terms of it sort of dropping out. So, so once I add in those little clip bits, it should finish it off quite nicely. So anyway guys, that's the update for this time. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.